Well, Merle Temple is a Mississippi author who kept his promise to God, wrote a trilogy of novels drawn from his life, and goes to Hollywood. Here to tell us about his experiences, the author himself, Burl Temple. How are you doing this morning? Oh, doing great. It's, uh, great to be back in Memphis. <laughs> well, it's happy. we're happy to have you back in Memphis. Tell me a little bit about um, some of your books and your trilogies. Well, uh, these books are written as fiction, but drawn from my life. Uh, a Ghostly Shade of Pale was the first book that came out about three years ago. You know, I didn't know if anybody would like it other than my uh, friends and family who might take pity on me. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, the books have been very well received. And, of course, uh, Criminal Minds uh, contacted me. I sent the manuscript out for Jim Clemente, the writer-producer, to read and tell me if it was any good because I knew his cousin. And uh, uh, Jim uh, got back to me and he said, you know, I love it. You're a great writer. Come to Hollywood. I want to represent you. And boom. You know, just like that, Judy, my wife, and I loaded up to Murano in Tupelo and uh, headed out on I-40 and uh, for a real adventure in Hollywood. And uh, we met the cast of Criminal Minds, signed books wow. for them. I met with producers, did radio and TV out there in Beverly Hills and L.A. It's and, exciting. Uh, it was uh, quite an experience. Absolutely exciting. Tell me a little bit about your books themselves, kind of uh, what does the character go through, the main character? Well, Michael Parker is the main character in the trilogy, and he's based on me. And uh, the first book of Ghost of Shade of Pale takes him right out of Ole Miss in the early 70s when President Nixon had just declared the first war on drugs. And young and naive, thought he knew everything, like I did in real <laughs> life. Didn't know anything, went into that, and he was... Uh, there weren't very many agents those days. If you got in trouble, you were on your own. So he was held hostage like I was in South Mississippi by heroin dealers who debated where to dump my body after they'd wow. killed me, lured out at the Horn Lake exit. Uh, later, as an investigator, by a hitman hired by the Dixie Mafia to kill me. And later, when I was the first captain in the Bureau, uh, we, uh, we were doing a heroin deal in Columbus, and they had a sniper up on a railroad trestle covering the deal. And uh, uh, he rained down fire on us, a terrible gun battle, dramatic intervention by God that day. Uh, a lot of stuff in the book, a lot of corrupt politicians. I know that shocked you. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, people responded to, to the first book. Um, uh, and down in Barnes & Noble in Tupelo, the store that covers North Mississippi and Northwest Alabama. Uh, it's the all-time best-selling novel in the history of that store. It's a great outpour of support for it. Yeah, it's, and high schools and middle schools are using wonderful. English classes and one community college made it okay. required reading. Perfect. Uh, before you leave us, very quickly, where can we get your books? Uh, well, if you want signed copies, you can go to MerleTemple.com, and those come to us for people who can't catch us on the road. Okay. And otherwise, you can get them on Amazon and Barnes and & Noble online. Anywhere. Perfect. Thank you so much for being on the show this morning. If you want to know more about the books or his book tour, you can always head to WMCActionNews5.com. We have more news after this break.